Hey guys, so today I was at an event and one of the people in the audience asked me a question afterwards. And they said, Kim, you're such a success, but come on, seriously, have you ever had one of those low points, one of the lowest of the lows? How did you get yourself out of it? So I wanna tell you guys honestly, I have been there. I know, yes, it looks like I have this great, amazing company, and yes, I have this great, amazing team, but that wasn't always the case. About three years ago, uh, maybe a little bit less than that, I had just given birth to my son. My company had completely shrunk down. And when I say shrunk down, like. I'm talking zero. There's very few people that want to hire you to do a six month program when you're out to here in pregnancy. So I had completely folded my business pretty much. I was on maternity leave from what little business I had already started. And I remember being in a Walmart and I cried. I cried because I hadn't generated a single dollar in months, I could barely afford the $17 bath mat that I wanted to buy my son for the bathtub so that he wouldn't slip and fall while he was in there and while I was bathing him. And I, that was definitely one of my lowest moments. And as I was starting to rebuild my business at the time, knowing that I needed to start to develop all those relationships and everything, I took a step back and I asked, me, my, I asked myself, what are you doing? that is so difficult. What are you doing that is not connecting with people as much as you should be? And what I realized is that every conversation I was having with all the clients, I was so focused on myself. I was focused on my paycheck, on paying my bills. I was focused on closing my clients in order to build my business. And I said, you know what, you're so amazing. And one of your gifts to the world is how you connect with others, how you help other people. And so I gave myself a 30 day challenge. I challenged myself for the next 30 days to only be focused on helping other people in their businesses. And very slowly I started networking and I started asking people, what do you need? What do you need in your business to help it grow? And over time, the answers started to come in because almost always nobody ever needs sales, but they need other things. They need connections, they need relationships, they need someone who does something else. And I started to be the connector of people again. And over time, my business started to flourish, which brings me to why we are the number one sales training organization and why our number one value is the Zig Ziglar quote, you can have everything you want in life when you help enough people get what they want. Because that quote helped me through the storm, the darkest of the dark moments, in order to grow my own business. I believe it to be true. If you're in one of those situations where you're at that low point, you haven't generated the sales that you wanted to, you haven't brought in the revenues, you're so focused on yourself, I invite you to consider the 30 day challenge. How can you help others? And I promise within 30 days, by helping other people get what they want, you will get everything that you want in your life. Goodbye for now.